welcome to Scrap and Rabbit. I'm Christine. I finished a little journal a few days ago and I'm having so much fun making these that I haven't been taking the time to upload them to my YouTube channel so I'm going to start by uploading this one today. It's a small but thick journal and it's got six stitched signatures in here. The journal measures about five and a quarter, no five and a half inches wide not including the, the lace that sticks out here by six and a half inches high and it, the spine is about two and a quarter inches. This is made with, um, with fabric and I've got some chipboard inside to stiffen it a bit but I really like the fabric because it makes a nice textured cover. The closure is a little button and an elastic that's tied from the back and it just loops over to the front. It's a beautiful velour fabric and it's got gold colored thread throughout and the colors are probably hard to see but it's got a nice deep burgundy reds, blues and greens in there. It's really pretty fabric. On the side I attached one of these Tim Holtz clips and I only have a couple of beads on there but you can always add your own embellishments to the spine so you can really make this album your own. And then on the back it's just plain like that. I've got a little bit of trim here on the edges. Let me show you the inside. It's quite a thick little journal. There are about 176 pages that you can write on and it's a mix of paper. Now the 176 pages, those are white sheets or lined sheets that you can write. It doesn't include the pockets and the, the, the colored papers where you would probably want to put some photos on there or whatnot. So on the inside, it's uh, a white, almost canvas type fabric. And I have a little charm here. It's a little cherub on a heart and it's attached to a chain and I've got six tabs in here that you can write on the edge and I've also got some little fabric tabs. I'll take you through the pages very quickly. On the inside here there's a plastic pocket and there's a little tag and you can write your name on there or you can journal. And I'll show you the, the papers quickly. Beautiful rose. This is writing paper. And some of it is scrap of paper that I had in my stash. This is a nice thick drawing paper. And then I've got some aligned paper in here and some music sheets for as an embellishment. And then I've got three of these little pockets that open. There's a magnet here and you can store some mementos in there. So here's the other half of the signature. I'll just go straight to the next one. Oh, I may as well show you this one. There's a little tag in here in the plastic. You can remove these and put what you want in there. Time for a cup of tea. I made this with some paper from past projects so they're all mixed up. So here's the next signature and again I've got that thicker drawing paper rose, and you can put photos on the scrapbook paper. And here's the other the other pocket and I have a tag Joy is Contagious. And you can also put a photo on the back. More journaling spots. The next signature. So it's basically the same papers that are repeated in each of the signatures. Another pocket. Treasure these precious moments. That's another little tag in 
plastic sleeve. And here's another tag. Today is the day. And it's just plain on the back so you can lay it on there. There's no stamping, so you can customize the journal. I'm going to be putting this in my Etsy shop and I'll include a link below. Here's another tag for journaling. And there's the third pocket. And then here's the last one with this tag that just reads wonderful. And then I've got some lace on the edge here. And here. I really like this fabric. It's glued down, but it unravels a little bit at the top part that it isn't glued, so it gives it a bit of a frayed edge for an old an older look. I like the uh, the textured look that fabric gives. So that's my little journal. I always like getting the comments and I will be listing this in my Etsy shop and I'll include a link below. Have a nice day. Happy crafting. Bye.